the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 44. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. The instrument had some question as to her vitality. We were having a hard time appraising it. Is it possible for you to comment on this? I am raw. We scan this instrument and find that we may be of service without infringement due to this instrument's decision to abide by the most careful appraisal possible rather than the most desired. We have been surprised that we have been able to maintain contact on a regular basis during this most intense period of negatively influenced interference. Sexual energy transfers have at some workings given this instrument additional vital resources upon which to draw. However, this is not so at this working and, therefore, the will of the instrument drives its bodily complex. This instrument has no judgment about this service. The faculty of will, while recognized as most central and valuable, could in this application cause serious distortion in bodily complex of the instrument. May we note that martyrdom is not necessarily helpful. We ask this instrument to examine these thoughts, judge, and discriminate the possible truth of them, and if they be deemed true we suggest this instrument release the power of judgment to the support group whose interests are balanced far more than this instrument's. Allow decisions to be made without expectation or attachment to the outcome. Our hopes, may we say, the long-term contact through this instrument depend upon its maturing ability to be of service to other selves by accepting their help and thus remaining a viable instrument. May we thank the questioner for allowing us to speak to this point, for we were aware of the distortions incumbent upon one whose will to serve is not regulated by knowledge of limitations of bodily complex distortion. Questioner, could you please terminate this contact as soon as necessary since we are not aware of the vitality of the instrument at this time? I am raw. In your way of speaking our hands are, to a certain extent, tied. This instrument has called upon inner reserves which are dearly bought. Therefore, we have the honor duty of using this energy to the best of our ability. When it becomes low we shall most certainly, as always, express the need for ending the working. The only way of avoiding this sharing of service at whatever cost is to refrain from the working. It is a dilemma. Questioner, can you tell me what the tone was that I heard in my left ear when you started your communication? I am raw. This was a negatively oriented signal. Questioner, can you tell me how I would hear a positively oriented signal? I am raw. Two types there are of positive signal. First, in the right ear location the signal indicates a sign that you are being given some unworded message saying, listen, take heed. The other positive sign is the tone above the head which is a balanced confirmation of a thought. Questioner, are there any other negatively oriented signals that I get? I am raw. This is correct. You are able to receive thought forms, word forms, and visions. However, you seem able to discriminate. Questioner, is there a reason that I am open to these signals of a negative nature? I am raw. Are you not all things? Questioner, I think that it might be a good idea if we terminated the contact at this time to allow the instrument to gain more necessary energy before continuing. This is my decision at this time. I would very much like to continue the contact, but it seems to me, although I can't tell the instrument's level, that the instrument should not use up any more energy. I am raw. We are responding to an unasked query. However, it is most salient and therefore we beg your forgiveness for this infringement. The energy has been lost to the instrument, dedicated to this purpose only. You may do as you will, but this is the nature of the instrument's preparation for contact and is the sole reason we may use it. Questioner, I'm not sure I fully understood you. Could you say that a little different way? Could you explain more completely? I am raw. Each of you in this working has consciously dedicated the existence now being experienced to service to others. This instrument has refined this dedication through long experience with the channeling, as you term it, of confederation philosophy, as you may say. Thus when we first contacted this instrument it had offered its beingness, not only to service to other selves but service by communication of this nature. As this contact has developed, this dedication of beingness has become quite specific. Thus once the vital energy is dedicated by the instrument to our communications, even if the working did not occur, this vital energy would be lost to the day-by-day -day experience of the instrument. Thus we indicated the importance of the instrument's releasing of the will from the process of determining the times of working, for if the instrument desires contact, the energy is gathered and thus lost for ordinary or mundane purposes. Questioner, in that case, since the energy is already lost, we might as well continue with this session, 
and we should very carefully monitor the instrument and be the sole judge of when the sessions should occur. Am I correct? I am wrong. This is profoundly correct. This instrument's determination to continue contact during this period has already extended the low energy period. Questioner, this is very revealing to us. Thank you. Each of us gets the signals and dreams. I have been aware of clairaudient communication at least once in waking up. Can you suggest a method whereby we might? Shall I say, nullify the effect of the influence that we don't want from a negative source? I am raw. There are various methods. We shall offer the most available or simple. To share the difficult contact with the other selves associated with this working and to meditate in love for these senders of images and light for self and other selves is the most available means of nullifying the effects of such occurrences. To downgrade these experiences by the use of intellect or the disciplines of will is to invite the prolonging of the effects. Far better than to share and trust such experiences and join hearts and souls in love and light with compassion for the sender and armor for the self. Questioner, can you tell me the source of the instrument's dream of this morning that she told to me as soon as she woke up? I am raw. The feeling of the dream, shall we say, was Orion influenced. The clothing of the dream revealing more the instrument's unconscious associative patterns of symbolism. Questioner, in meditation a number of years ago my arms started to glow moving rapidly and voluntarily. What was that? I am raw. The phenomenon was an analogy made available to you from your higher self. The analogy was that the being that you were was living in a way not understood by, shall we say, physicists, scientists, or doctors. Questioner, what I am trying to get at in this session is any practices that we might be able to do to best revitalize the instrument, for it is going to be necessary to do all we can to do this in order to maintain our contacts. Can you tell us what we could best do to increase the instrument's vitality for these contacts? I am raw. Your experience was a function of your ability to contact intelligent infinity. Therefore, it does not have a direct bearing upon this instrument's vital energy. We have spoken before of those things which aid this instrument in the vital energy, the sensitivity to beauty, to the singing of sacred music, to the meditation and worship, to the sharing of self with self and freely given love either in social or sexual intercourse. These things work quite directly upon the vitality. This instrument has a distortion towards appreciation of variety of experiences. This, in a less direct way, aids vitality. Questioner, I was looking at the diagram of the advancement of magical practices starting from Markuth and ending at Kecha. I was wondering if these corresponded to the colors or the densities, with Markuth as one, Yisod as two, Hod and Netzch being three, Taifei with four, and so on. Is this correct? I am raw. This is basically incorrect although you are upon the correct track of thinking. Each of these stations has a complex number and shading of energy centers as well as some part in various balances. The lower, the middle, the high, and the total balance. Thus there are complex colors or rays and complex charges, if you will, in each station. Questioner, well, does the left-hand path of this represent the service to self path more and the right-hand path the service to others? I am raw. This will be the last full query of this working. This is incorrect. These stations are relationships. Each path has these relationships offered. The intent of the practitioner in working with these powerful concepts determines the polarity of the working. The tools are the tools. Questioner, as an ending question I will just ask is it possible, then, for the obsessimist to have either positive or negative polarity? Or must he be neither? I am raw. We shall respond to the meaning of this term in a specialized sense. The Ipsissimus is one who has mastered the tree of life and has used this mastery for negative polarization. Is there any brief query which we may respond to as we take leave of this instrument? Questioner, I am sorry that we got a little off the track today. I think the most important thing we accomplished is knowing how to better regulate the instrument sessions and I would hope that you would bear with me for my inability to select questions properly at times, since I just happen, sometimes, to probe into areas to see if there is a possible direction we may go, and once entering, I, other than that, I would just like to know if there is anything this session that we could do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact, I am raw, there are no mistakes, be at rest, my friend, each of you is most conscientious. All is well. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. I am raw, Adonai. And of session 44.